This study looked at 100 mummies from the Chan Kei culture have extremely ornate and impressive tattoos. To discover this, the team used lasers. Not much is known about the Chan Kei culture, but we do know they existed simultaneously with the Incan Empire and eventually were conquered by them, and they had great art. Chan Kei textiles and fabrics are the most well-known of the art and some of the most impressive. They created the fabric out of llama wool, cotton, and feathers. They then used brushes to paint on a variety of designs from geometric patterns to human-like figures. They also created some impressive ceramics. Personally, this one is my favorite. And they also made these woven fabric dolls known as burial dolls. This study looked at 100 mummies. These were from the Cerro Colorado Cemetery in the Huayara Valley. But because of the contrast between the ink and the wrinkled skin, it was impossible to see the extent of most of the designs. This team used a method called LSF, Laser Stimulated Fluorescence. As one of the co-authors, Tom K, says, we basically turn skin into a light bulb. With this, they were able to clearly see all the tattoos on the mummies. And there were three interesting things about the tattoos. One, only a subset of the people actually had tattoos. While it seems to be the majority of the sample, it did show there was some choice or some reasoning about why or why not certain individuals got them. Two, the art is an extremely high quality and mirrors the style on other John K. art, geometric designs in particular. The study focused on four exceptional tattoos and theirs were placed on the hands, the knuckles, and the forearms. The quality of this art is comparable to any other of the impressive John K. art on ceramics or fabrics. And three, they were experts in tattooing. The LSF method shows that the width of the tattoos are 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters narrower than the standard number 12 tattooing needle. In some societies that do tattooing, they do this by cutting the skin and then filling the cut with ink. Here, instead, the team thinks that they use the tip of the cactus needle to be able to create these very precise designs. 